Welcome to the Suerte del Mourinho farm, Andalusia in Spain. This video goes with another aerial drone video that has no sound. So the one video is from the air and this one I take exactly the same route on land. It all starts with this culvert under this road. I'm here at the southern border. There is one of the highest spots and here another highest spot. They are actually exactly the same height. And then this uh, little creek uh, in between. I'm following the water. This is the purpose of this video for me to see how it flows. So from here into a canal and I will now follow the creek to get out of this. This is 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 plus, 39 celsius so the canal flows over there it's built over there it doesn't flow anything right now so this is a white guava and then a chestnut and then a gooseberry and a gooseberry and Lots of berries here in this microclimate. Potato. Some uh, blackberry, raspberry mix. Some berries. In between, this is a chirimoya, custard apple. And this is a big tree, uh, it produces a berry for the birds. It's another one, and another one, and another one, and this is the red guava. This is, okay, some more of them. There are some other small trees in between. This is a poplar. And this is the chestnut. And this is the elderflower, elderberry. And this is mud. And... Ah, it looks like a palofnia. And some more mud. And this is the hackberry. And it carries on like this. This is the strawberry tree. Then it dives down. One, two, three, four, five uh, mulberries. And a lot of fig trees, a lot of potatoes. Some more fig trees. And then this is a uh, hackberry. And then we have Starting here, this Vachalia Karu. Sent to me the seeds by my daughter from South Africa. Then the water drops down. Another swell system, some pears some peaches 
in between there were some moringas but they are I think leaving us this is a blood orange this is a khaki and more pears so the water flows this way this is a quince and then uh, cherry trees and then the water drops down again it is also my main system where the water goes down to nine other swells so normally the water carries on here um, lots of pomegranates a citrus and this is a loquat and a and a, and the quince together i'm going to plant them even closer soil is not a problem for plants light is and uh, here we have ample light then it goes into the pond The video one can actually hardly see the water from the top is interesting. This is my nursery for my duckweed. I just keep it together in one spot. Then the the swell ducks down again. Lots of carob, figs some uh, berries uh, uh, sorry some nuts like uh, hazelnuts hackberry um, this is uh, the laurel and then it goes down again and it repeats more or less the same plants a fig sticking out and a might be hackberry here I'm to the western fenced border this is a citrus and this is a hackberry and another citrus then the water cuts through here more to the east than I'm walking but the um, basic direction is true it uh, bulges inwards and then it comes back towards the west again so this area gets flooded And then this swale gets filled um, these dark branches of the cystus is very visible from the air here we have a bamboo and aloe vera and um, especially lentiscus this 
uh, Andalusian pistachio. This one, it follows this. Actually, this gets full as well, and then the water carries on right to the lowest part of the land. And uh, this is where this video ends. This is where I will end this now. Um, the aerial shot, drone shot, is quite spectacular because it's very high density and the depth is visible. One can actually feel as if one reaches down um, from the sky. Okay, it goes that way and then many times like in the last year the excess water will leave the land from a hot sunny amazing world of farming homesteading in Andalusia goodbye <laughs>